my god. Sprinkler! That was not dancing, I was being a sprinkler. Where'd you learn how to dance? Cooking school? <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it, you can do it. Don't give up. Hey guys. Hello. Guess what? what? This is super quick and tasty snacks for weight loss. You can eat these and not feel deprived along your whole weight loss journey. These are made with really good ingredients. They're fairly low in calories. They're super quick to make and they're really tasty. And these snacks have helped keep Kyle and I on track since the very beginning. Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and having quick and tasty snacks really helps keep us on track. So. Here are four of our favorites. First one is super easy. I use it as a snack, even sometimes as a breakfast. So this is half of a cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. Sorry, that's the French side. We like to use the plain because it has less carbs and sugar and we can flavor it ourselves. So to flavor it, I like to use two tablespoons of this chocolate powdered peanut butter. And this is what a tablespoon looks like. So two of those. This is what half a cup looks like. So half a cup of Greek yogurt. I top it with two teaspoons of chopped walnuts. So two of these. And play around. If you guys have different options for powdered peanut butter, play around with the flavors. Just Greek yogurt, powdered peanut butter, and some nuts. I have also used cocoa powder and stevia. You can also use sugar-free pudding. A couple teaspoons will work, or like a tablespoon, whatever, flavor it to your desire. You can make anything with Greek yogurt and sugar-free flavorings, and you can make a great moussey little snack like that. Second, popcorn. Popcorn is so good because it makes you feel like you're eating so much more. This is a 95% or I think it's like 95% fat free popcorn. It's so quick because it's microwave so it's two minutes and then you can put whatever. We like the kernels seasonings. This one's dill pickle. This is ketchup. You can't tell because the label fell off. Somebody but... ripped it off. <sighs> they don't peel very easy. And actually, you took the first label off. That's the second one that I did. Don't believe her. <laughs> so this one's dill pickle. The other one's ketchup. The We don't track macros or count calories, but just to show you how good the calories are for a couple of teaspoons, it's really decent. And we just give a few shakes, shake up the bowl, and do a few more shakes and it flavors your popcorn, you have a snack, it fills this whole popcorn bowl, and you really feel like that's one serving, four cups. You feel like you're eating a ton. Four cups for, is huge. It's a really great snack. And you get to choose your flavorings, like there are a ton of kernels flavorings like this in Canada, and I'm sure in the States you get even more. Take your pick. Shake away. We have eaten popcorn as a snack from the very beginning. It is a standby, especially because you can get fat free. Yeah, just make sure you guys grab the fat free. If you're gonna do that, then you add, like we do in a lot of our snacks, add your own seasoning. Yes, because when you control the amount of seasonings or flavorings, then you're in control of how many calories you're taking in. And even though we don't count calories or track macros, we like to have an idea of what we're taking in by using portion control. And that is how we've lost all of our weight and kept it off. The third snack is one of our current favorites. It's a mug cake. So you basically pour all the ingredients. We like to do it in a bowl. You stir it all together, put it in the microwave in a mug, and then it comes out like this. The one that we're doing, this one is a chocolate chip vanilla. So. This is, I'm gonna give you what it takes to make two. You literally just take all these ingredients and mix them up in a bowl. And we'll put the ingredients in the description box down below. So two scoops of protein powder. This one is vanilla ice cream, beyond yourself. Weigh isolate, use whatever protein powder you want, whatever flavor you want. Two scoops of that. We need one teaspoon of 
a sugar-free syrup. This one is Mrs. Butterworth's No Sugar Added Syrup. Two teaspoons of chocolate chips. We really like the Krizda brand chocolate chips because they're flavored, they're sweetened with stevia. We really like baking in the microwave in mugs because it's quicker. When you're hungry and you need a snack but you don't want to go off your diet, you want to bake in the microwave. And this is low carb because if you use a low carb whey isolate, it's a low carb snack because the base is the protein powder. Use half a teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of vanilla. This is pure vanilla extract. You can use whatever extract you want, whatever flavor. And a couple pinches of sea salt. Don't pinch too hard though, it oh, might hurt. I forgot. <laughs> two large eggs as well. And six tablespoons of a non-dairy milk. We really like the creamy cashew unsweetened vanilla silk. It's our favorite. So you pour, put that all in the bowl, stir it up, whisk it away, spray two mugs with cooking spray. We really like the butter flavor. Cooking spray, you can get any brand. This one's a great value from Walmart. Divide the mixture into two mugs. We, we have done both. You can put the chocolate chips in right away or you can sprinkle them halfway through like we do. We do half halfway through and then half on the top. Put your mugs in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. Um, after the first 30 seconds, you stir them up and then you just keep monitoring them. They have baking powder in them so they will rise. Use a bigger mug. I'll show you the, the size we use. This is the size that we use. They will rise over the top. You just have to watch them. So cook them 30 seconds at a time. Ours took two minutes and 15 seconds total to cook both of them. And halfway through we added the chocolate chips, some of them, and then at the end, the last 15 seconds, we added the last bit of chocolate chips because we like chocolate all the way through. Warning to repeat, do not leave the microwave unattended. No, you need to watch them, which is why we do it in 30 second intervals because they will go literally like the <laughs> And that's normal. When you stop the microwave after 30 seconds, they'll go, they'll back, go back down. down. Yeah. When you're cooking in a mug, that's what happens. Don't leave them unattended. That's why we do every 30 seconds until they're cooked to your preference, yeah. which took two minutes and 15 seconds. Then I like to pop them in the freezer for a few seconds just to cool them a bit. Put them on a plate. Sprinkle with sprinkles. Any sprinkles, about half a teaspoon. We're using Christmas sprinkles. <laughs> And that's it, then you enjoy. You can top it with cool, fat-free Cool Whip or whatever too, but yeah, we like- Yeah, it's a nice low carb, full of protein snack. We really enjoy putting the chocolate chips and sprinkles, so um, that's our favorite. The last snack is a pudding pop. Great for this time of year. This is another current favorite right now. This is so good, like it's really hot here in Canada right now, so these are perfect. Kyle and I have been enjoying two of these every day. You need a popsicle mold, I will show you. This is the popsicle mold. I got this from a grocery store. It's a Canadian grocery store, real Canadian grocery store. Real, real Canadian superstore, come on, Sorry. get it right. Real Canadian superstore. However, I'm sure you can get them at Walmart or any department store in the state. Dollar stores even have those. Yes. So, popsicle mold, you need a sugar-free jello. Sorry, it's fat-free, but it, it actually is sugar-free as well. If yeah, you, you want to get the sugar-free fat. On the back, so it's no sugar, and it's very low in carbs. This one is butterscotch. The, um, the ones in the mold are butterscotch, and the one here is chocolate. So, we like all the flavors. Get whatever flavor you like. You need one package of this, two cups of non-dairy milk. Again, this is our favorite, the creamy cashew unsweetened vanilla. And you need half of a tub of fat-free Cool Whip. I literally, this is an empty container by the way. Um, I literally just take a spatula and divide it right down the middle. I put half of the Cool Whip in a microwavable bowl for 20 seconds to soften it up. Then I pour two cups of milk in another bowl. I whisk those two ingredients together. Then I put in the Jello mix. 
and I, the pudding mix, and I whisk it all together until it's like a creamy, smooth consistency. And then I just divide it into the molds and I pop them in the freezer for uh, usually overnight, but I'm sure a minimum of like four or five hours and you'll be good to go. And again, this will be description. It'll be uh, the recipe for this will be in the description down below too. And then to get them out, you just run this under hot water and it'll release the popsicles from the mold. What I, what I like to do is I like to set them out while we're eating lunch or dinner and then they're nice and ready to eat. They need a little bit of time to thaw. Then they're ready to eat and they're really nice and, and like they taste like a fudgesicle. Yeah. So those are our snacks. Literally like a few ingredients, you whip it all together and they create these really tasty things that really help us stay on track. So hopefully these will help you guys too. And what's really cool about this is that you can take any of the flavorings, you can use different extracts, different protein powders, you can use non-chocolate powdered peanut butter, you can use any flavor of, you know, fat-free pudding mix that you want. Go bananas, make your own flavors. Hope you enjoy this, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the Colette's because we're showing you these pictures. We're showing you all the foods we're making and eating and also fancy dresses and sprinklers like. Yeah, we're wearing um, leopard dresses over there. You got to get over there. You got to get over there for the leopard. <laughs> Do it for the leopards. Do it for the leopards. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, if you didn't already, what are you doing? Yeah. Do it. Okay. What? <laughs> mm. The popcorn ball had a doom! Are you alright? No. I, yep. I was born this way. We've lost her friends. She's, she's gone. <laughs> you don't want this bull head of doom. No, it's very scary. I'll show you Imagine if there was popcorn in it and you dumped it on your head. Oh. That would just be a waste of popcorn. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. See ya.